Hi everyone. It's been a while since I've done a video like this, but I like to do one when a popular new model comes out, and uh, particularly one where a lot of people struggle to get into it to fit DCC or sound. Um, so I thought that this one would be a perfect one to do a video on. It's the new um, Backman Class 70. It's the same as the old Class 70s. As far as I know, they've not changed it, but I'll find out in a minute when I open it up. Um, but it's a bit of a tricky one to open. Um, so I'm going to be fitting a Lockdown 5 and this is one of the new um, little mega bass speakers. Um, I've not used this in a video yet other than a quick demo of it on my test board. Um, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to actually fit it into a model which I think it will suit. So I'm going to put that in there and show you how to do it. So first things first, the model itself, it's, um, it's got four screws but they're really well hidden sort of deep inside where the bogies are. So what I usually do is I get some old tweezers, uh, quite big tweezers, and I put them on the, I'll try and show you, it's quite hard to show you, but put it against the back wheels and then pull off the bogey frames. So if I just try again to show you with this side, you can kind of use it as a lever. And there you go just pulls off actually. Make sure you take the coupling out of the one that's got the coupling in. But then once you've got the bogey frames out, at this end, it's quite hard to see, but you've got screw holes there. At this end, you can't actually see any screw holes, you just have to look really deep inside and you'll see the four screws. If you use something like this magnetic tip screwdriver, it's much easier to get the screws out. Uh, these are on the website if you've not already got one. You can get them on their own or as part of a fitting kit. But I'll take these four screws out and then show you how easy it is to lift the body off. <laughs> And there we go. So the body's off now. The you find that there's two plugs um, there for the lights, but you don't really need to take them out to fit the sound. So I'm just gonna leave mine in. First thing you need to do is take away this um, holder. Um, this is for a 20 by 40 speaker, but most people are not going to be using that, so take the two screws out and that should just lift off. I'm going to use the tweezers to just pick that screw up because it's still not quite come out fully. It's kind of trapped under the wires. Oops. Caught it. So that's gonna go, that's gonna move out of my way. Some tape as well which is for the wires but I'll reuse that because I still want those wires to be held down out of the way of the new one. So I'll just pull the tape out of the way enough to get the the plastic off. So that's that's what you're taking out. You don't need that, you might as well throw that away because I don't think anybody really uses them anymore. Um, you've got your blanking plug. So that's just gonna pull off carefully. Try and pull it sort of straight up rather than at an angle because you can bend the pins. And then you've got your decoder to go in. If you're buying it from me and you choose a speaker upgrade, it's already going to be connected. Um, I recommend that you do choose a speaker upgrade, otherwise you get a sugar cube speaker kit and you have to build that yourself, which doesn't sound as good anyway. So the decoder just pushes on 
and then you've got loads of space for the speaker so I'm just gonna use a little bit of black tack and I'm gonna get the speaker down as flat as I can um, and try and push the wires out of the way. You only need a really small amount of black tack so sometimes people use more than what you really need. The um, problem if you use too much is it can end up sticking to other things, pulling wires off, things like that. So just use a, a small amount. Um, just going to use a screwdriver to push the wires to the sides. So you can probably just about see where the speaker is. Maybe I should have taken these plugs out for the body, but it's done now anyway, so as long as you're not on a rough surface or anything, you're not going to do any damage to it, I wouldn't have thought. Um, but yeah, literally just, that's it. You can put your body back on. Make sure if you have taken it off fully that you put it on the same way, because um, obviously the fans need to line up and everything. Um, and then, yeah, just push the body back on carefully. Make sure that the ends go on. So that that's back in place now. I think that's fully in position. And then you've just got to put your four screws back in. ready to go except the bogey frames so one of your if you're using a new model and you've not changed the couplings at all one of them's got the little um, NEM pocket for the coupling and one end of the model has the slotted valance whereas the other end's solid so make sure that you put the one with the NEM pocket back at the slotted end it's fairly easy to get on usually. You just want to get the front lined up first and then just push it down at the back and you'll hear it clip. And then same at the front or at the opposite end anyway. You need to make sure that the clip goes into that little groove um, and then the, the back will line itself up and clip on. And then I'm just going to put the coupling back on. might be yeah that's back in and that's the model finished so usually at this point I would show you it running um, but I haven't got any sound on this decoder yet with it being so new I've not actually been sent the sound file um, at the minute you can choose from Lego Man Biffo or Coastal but there's also going to be a JMC sound file as well um, so you you might want to have a look at that too but I'll do videos of all of them uh, when I get the chance and you'll be able to hear them and compare and, and choose which one you like best. But yeah, hopefully the video has been useful. I'll try and do more videos like this in the future because people always seem to like them. So I'd appreciate it if you like it and if you can subscribe to the channel if you don't already. It helps me see that these videos are popular and helps other people find them. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll put a link in the description once I've done some videos of it running. Thanks a lot.